Hello Earth Signs, we are going to do a reading for you guys. So um, I have taken quite a little bit of a break, but that's okay, I needed it. So i got some different decks out here we're going to pull from. I'm just getting a, a little um, energy check on the Earth energy. Um, if you have Earth in your chart, it might resonate a little more. If not, it might resonate anyway, because it's Earth energy, and we live on the Earth, and this is um, Earth energy. So um, we are going to start with, I got a few new decks we're going to be working with a little today. It's, um, these are the, uh, oh my gosh, what are they called? She does this art, it's called Touch Art, I believe, and she does the Soul 1s and the Soul 2 cards. Um find it here sorry oh portals of presence and these are faces so we're going to see what um kind of feelings and what kind of um things i get from the card that we pulled for you guys ah, gotta love it digging into the psyche <laughs> let's see here Ooh, this actually did come up um i believe it was on the bottom of the deck for fire energy and it's a very serious and discerning um energy i get from this card it's almost like a warrior like energy um focused determined um that's the energy i get from that card so it is a focused and determined energy um it's also i get like a skeptical or a like a like a knowing from this card like it, it could even be like a Kind of like you know you got to do what you got to do it's a warrior like energy it's like i know something um it could be discerning you know when i felt it with fire i felt it more like um i don't know if like accusing was the right word but it was just very focused and determined on what it knew this energy knows and it is determined and focused to um, win or um come through on the other side um that's kind of the energy i get from that card so that is um and your guys is reading also Earth Signs. So I am, I've combined the uh, Soul 1s and the Soul 2 cards. Um, and we're going to get a couple of these to get a little more. And there's one. Okay, this is the... Almost as if there is a... Oh, and then three more dropped out. So we're just going to take those. Mm, okay. So uh, one of the things I am getting is that you could be um, very aware that you are either um, helping somebody or somebody is helping you. This could be energetically or sending like some kind of, um, and this could be even your angel team or whatever, sending you kind of, uh, messages or, um, to, I feel like to like help free you from something. Um, there is like a feeling here of like needing to get through something or being determined to get through something so that you can be free from some kind of, um, energy that's been um, maybe around you um just some kind of could be some but there's like this calm peaceful like mothering energy too here that i feel like um it could even be like thoughts of a mother or thoughts around um a, a feminine in your life or um a mother-like figure because there's also a mother and a child in this card and it's almost like she's reaching and she's holding this hand of somebody else um, you may be helping a mother or a mothering energy or be a mothering energy, but there's definitely some feeling here of doing something kind of like a warrior to help somebody out who's maybe more vulnerable than you or um, somebody helping you out. Also, this could be a give and take where it's like trying to, there's, it's like this guy screaming in the middle. Um, and then it's kind of the same color as the stuff around her head. So it's like, Maybe helping get somebody or yourself out of your head, um, out of your thoughts, out of your, and to embrace kind of like 
this kind of nurturing or childlike energy around you. That's what I am getting. Um, you could be watching this, um, or, or you are a part of this, like you are doing this. Um, so that's interesting. So let's go ahead and put these up. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get um, three of these, you guys. Firm Foundation is the first one out. So right now, um, there is a stability here. Um, and, and there's a strength, too. I am feeling that strength. And having a strong, um, it's like knowing you got more to go, but you, you're you already like on your way and you know there's like, this, so this guy is like getting ready to climb this mountain. He's really gathering his strength for the next um, part. Um, of this journey. And in front of him, I've never really noticed this about that card, but there is a... Um, like a city or a building. You may be having to get through some, um, to free yourself, like get through some like st structures of like our reality, like, or our foundation, like some old, um, the way I kind of look at like the buildings and the kind of that city energy is it's like built and it's built from like society and it's not really, um, like sometimes we got to free ourselves from that and get like, the mountains beyond that, like the freedom is beyond the city. It's beyond the walls. It's beyond the uh, structures and institutions. So you may be trying to push yourself or somebody um, could be helping you do this, but to see beyond that and to get beyond that. And it's requiring a great deal of determination and focus and a warrior-like energy, like I said, um, to get beyond like some kind of Thing that just it's really hard it's got it's wrapped around your head this like structured energy it's like so it's like building up this really inner strength to go beyond that and that could be what this like kind of screaming energy is it's like all this structure and conditioning that you're working on um kind of seeing through and that's this energy too is this focus determination it's like discerning and it's like seeing through like the buildings and the walls and the structures and the conditioning to see what it is that truly will free you and make you um, feel connected to. And I do feel like there's like um, feel connected to like um, some kind of freedom, some kind of um, it's a spiritual freedom is what I'm feeling like that childlike, motherlike, um, really nurturing, loving freedom. It's really nice. Um Let's get one right before here and see. Whoa, that's too many. We got passion ignited. So something totally lighting you up in your heart here, your heart center, your heart chakra. There's also this um, really nice fiery heart energy here that's I think what is contributing to this really fiery energy in your lower um, chakras to help kind of ignite you, give you passion to move forward and kind of go beyond like um, the structures and the buildings and the, the city, you know, and it's metaphoric, you know, the city is metaphoric for like all the busy stuff that keeps us away from what truly, um, what we truly desire. Um, but it can be grueling and it can be um, kind of agonizing to try to get out of this whirlwind of what we believe we're supposed to be doing or where we believe we're supposed to be or who we're supposed to be or what it just it goes on you know it's a lot you guys so and then there's just like this really nice calm um I think it, there could be a trying to really master that put that together in a really calm way so that you can free yourself from like um some kind of established like way of doing things or structure or something because it's just it feels better. It just feels more fiery. It feels more passionate. It feels better. It feels better in your soul. But you know there's work to be done. And there's a definitely kind of a centering yourself. Really feeling what's going on inside. So 
so that you can make this next um, energetic leap um, kind of beyond what it is that's kind of trying to stop you. And I, it doesn't mean it's actually like trying, like actively trying to stop you, but um, our structures and our conditionings and the way we were brought up to believe do stop us from truly being happy because we're in a constant battle with what others think we should be doing or how we think we should be or how we think we should talk, act, whatever, compared to who we are. It's like really freeing yourself to be like the free spirit, the free person you are. But right now you got your, there's this warrior-like energy and it's like you're ready for, um, you're ready to get through something here. I am feeling that. Breakthrough. I'm feeling a breakthrough. That's um, the best way to describe this energy. It's like a breakthrough um, that's lit from inside. And we got intuition. And there is, there's like this portal energy again. It's like you're seeing beyond the, the door, the structure. It's like there is not one. It's like you're starting to understand there's not anything between you and like the spiritual freedom you seek. Except for like those structures and those institutions and those buildings and those con the conditioning that kind of puts us in a box and keeps us kind of away, you know, away from what, from taking that, um, there's this door and usually, you know, the door always represents like a way out or a way through, but it's shut in this card, but she's seeing beyond it into like this galactic kind of energy and like realizing that the door is there but that's not how she's getting there she's getting there through her mind and i do feel like you're freeing your mind of some some stuff here energetically but there's a real strong focus and determination and i feel like you are getting some help here whether this is from somebody around you or um your guides your angels um, maybe a mother figure or uh, a wife or you know something like that um, a real feminine energy it could just be your own feminine energy really coming through for you and that could be what you're freeing up here too because this structured, really um, emperor energy, I call it, is very masculine. And these are very feminine energies coming in to kind of um, try to free that. And I've been feeling this collectively for a while, so it makes sense that it's coming through. And, and this is earth energy. This is what I feel has been happening for tons, generations upon generations. But I feel like there's it's it's feels sped up a little um, recently, like uh, just because of the society and the freedoms that we are I'd say slowly getting allowed, but also it's been fast compared to generations upon generations of living in this really structured um, energy. Yes. So, um, and on the bottom is disruption. And this is filling, um, this is that kind of tower energy. It's like um, something kind of breaking down all the established, like that block energy, breaking down those really, um, the, the old foundation so that a new foundation can be built one that's more passionate one that's more fiery maybe one that's more a little more feminine nurturing um, but it's really hard when you've been mentally like um, structured a certain way if that makes sense okay so let's go ahead and get one of these oh Okay, and there is like a little, um, like a little angel queen kind of thing on the bottom. Okay, so I got this deck, and it is the um, Solace Oracle. It's healing, and it's a healing oracle. Um, to be honest, the book there's a lot. Um, this would be really beneficial if you're coming. Um, the book, I don't know. It just feels I, I by no means want to take away the creativity and the soul of where the intention behind this deck. It's just. Um, I love to intuitively read these images because I don't feel like sometimes it doesn't feel, you know, you're going to see something different than the author themselves made, but that's the beauty about art. Um, and I think that's one of the downfalls to having a book with the deck, but that's also a plus too with a lot of readings. Just, um, I feel like it has to do with a lot of um, abuse and a lot of, which we've all been through our own share of um, abuse or not being recognized or um, honored or respected. And that this Oracle does deal with that, but this is also... Um, a really beautiful card about um, a fiery union. And I am going to just read the little part of this card and see what it says. Because this is new and I have not seen this card. Um, and it's about forgiving. So you could be trying to really um, forgive too here. This, this could be very befitting to your reading. True forgiveness takes deep compassion. And that could be this feminine energy coming in. 
um, trying to help you show you deep compassion, not only for yourself, but so you can show that to yourself and others along the way too. You could be trapped in this really set mind frame that you've just been trying to free yourself from because it feels better. It feels better in your heart. It feels better in your, um, your soul. It says it is a gift you give even when you know it may not be appreciated. And I love that because that's kind of like there's this interesting energy to this card where this person's reaching out and there's this child. It's like healing like part of the inner child too. Like there might have been a time when like it's hard for you to forgive maybe or um, because maybe somebody didn't see you or understand you or forgive you as a child. And it's hard to show that to others because you weren't shown that or um, that understanding. You know, I am feeling that deep compassion. Um, so you could be really trying to go beyond some like structured and conditioned ways of thinking to get to this like really um, passionate, deeply like deep um, love, love within yourself for yourself. And therefore it will definitely come out in your relationships. So um, that is really nice. People say you must forgive those that have caused you pain to truly heal and move forward. And I love that. True forgiveness takes deep compassion. It's a gift you give, even when you know it may not be appreciated. And it may be appreciated and it may not. But it, it's not always just, it's not for them, really. It's for your soul. Um, so it might just be something you're, and there could be just a lot going on around your mind about this. Um, but then there's this really nurturing, understanding, feminine energy coming right out of it. And it's all in order now. And it's all been made sense of. All right. Sorry about that. Um, earth signs or earth energy. Um, oh, I was saying, you know, um, about freeing yourself from some constrictions of maybe freeing up your, um, passions, your desires, your, um, maybe allowing yourself to forgive somebody, um, in your life or being forgiven. It could be either way, guys. And then I was looking up the bottom card, which is this. And immediately I felt like an angel, um, like you are being helped by angels. It could be. A very feminine um, energy here. Um, there's this fiery kind of crown she's gotten to. And we're going to look that up. And it's the card of light the way. And it says, angel, let me ride on your wings of grace. Being graceful. Um, there is a focused determination here of getting to a more feminine energy. And um, in order to allow yourself to connect on a deeper and more compassionate level with maybe somebody in your life. Um, but this could be also just with you yourself so that you can really put that out into your um, day to day too. <coughs> it says we all want answers and guidance to the questions and choices concerning our life. This is awesome. Look for numbers, patterns, signs that your angels or ancestors or guides are helping you at this time to really um, kind of see through this um, have this warrior energy but like get through this like these obstacles of the mind um in order to free yourself up and um kind of see beyond the normal ways of getting somewhere or the normal ways of achieving a goal um also feeling that so that's really nice okay so we are gonna go ahead and get um Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get one of these for each side here. Passion ignited at heart chakra. It's lighting up. We got journey. And there's those mountains behind this tent and this little stream going by and it's peaceful and I feel like you really want that kind of passionate peace in your life. Oh, and then we got perseverance. That's what I'm feeling. That's the big word I'm looking for with this. It's just a perseverance. And he does have that bull look. Um, you could be, um, this is also a Taurus. It's also earth energy. Um, that bull, it's hard work. It's determination. It's um, the strength to keep going, even if something's tough, hard work. Um, that's, I am feeling that. Perseverance on this intuition. It's like knowing you're getting through something and it's requiring a great deal of strength and a lot of um kind of but i feel like you your angels or guides or ancestors or all of the above every everything is trying to help you sending really good energy your way to um and it's a real feminine energy that's helping you right now whether this is your own feminine energy 
uh, maybe mother figure or like I said, it could just be that, it's just that real feminine energy. So that's really nice, you guys. Let's go ahead and get one of these. This is like a major energy here. Stillness. A period of rest and inactivity. Go within for the answers you seek. And pay attention to the way you're feeling when you're going within. There's, um, I feel like a lot of guidance and intuition coming into you right now. Um, helping to kind of light the way for you through um, maybe breaking through another thing in your mind or breaking through another constriction or restriction or box that you, um, in order to like get to this um, freedom that you, and it's, it, and it's climbing the mountain. And it's funny because we were just talking about this, me and my husband, um, about climbing the mountain. And the mountain is really symbolic of just getting up into a higher energy mm -hmm. and um, a less, um, it's kind of interesting because it kind of, if you aren't prepared for that kind of thing, um, like mountain climbing stuff, which you prepare your body for, um, cause it's so, it's hard on the body, but it's just wonderful to know that you can do something, um, that is almost unperceivable by, um, people like, oh, there's no way of reaching that point or there's no way of getting that close to this or that. And here you are right there. Like it's as close as a human can get to, um, the sky, you know, um, and pushing beyond your own limits, really, um, and the limits of society and the limits of our conditioning, which are limits that we can push through. First, we have to realize there are no limits, that those are limits kind of put there. It's kind of an illusion, but there is some real challenges to getting through it, and the mind is the first one and really the only one. Um, so let's go ahead and get um, one of these. Uh, we'll get two of these here. And we got home, hive. This could have to do with your home life, your family life. Um, and working together to create a really um, nice, maybe a really um, less. And then we got horses. And this is freedom. And I was been feeling this freedom energy through your whole reading. And it's really that chariot energy. And it's moving forward and kind of breaking through the barriers of what it's interesting because there's these there's these horses that are down on the the land here and then there's this whoop, whoa that was crazy uh just kind of flew out and then there's this I was just getting ready to say and then there's this like rip going through here between kind of like our reality and like the reality the limit like going through the limits going past the limits and flying beyond um where we think we be, like these horses are all feet on the ground you know and this one's just flying like well it's interesting there's just this little kind of rip of our reality right here in the middle of this big universal picture and it's just really you're just um breaking through some 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 restrictions you know um whether this these and i feel like these are in the mind all of our real real restrictions are and it's just freeing yourself from maybe even freeing yourself from the normal like um this is a whole group of horses and this is one single horse kind of going off in its own direction because it's kind of following its it's it's realizing it doesn't have to stay here that's the energy i'm getting from that card um let's go ahead and get a couple words here um, to kind of sum up your guys' reading. And we got creativity, creative ways of freeing yourself, creative ways of um, moving beyond like this normal um, patterned, um, structured way of thinking or behaving. Uh, creativity, resolve, be resolved, and the thing is done. From decision, on a course of action, determination. Yes, to resolve something, to finish something, to finish up some work you've been working on about maybe really, really being in touch with that feminine nature of yourself. Um, a small spark kindles a great fire. That's what I'm feeling in this passion ignited. The use of the imagination to produce novel or original ideas, methods, or forms. 
and then let's get one more and then resolve and that's definitely um this firm foundation resolving the issues or the 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 kind of seeing through like the boundaries that you kind of have structured in place in your mind and breaking through those with the help of your um, feminine free energy and then we got delegation don't bite off more than you can chew entrusting tasks to others assigning activities to those best suited so if you need help asking for it um, realizing you don't have to do it all on your own asking for help asking for guidance being open to um, that that helping hand or that um, reaching out and kind of being okay with getting this help, um, whatever that is. Okay. All right, Earth. And let's get one more. Let's get one of these real quick. We're only at 28 minutes. And it'll be less when I... Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh, and we got Grace again. The elbows. So if your elbows are acting up, um, or you're feeling a lot in the elbows... Um, it's about being graceful and peaceful and that grace really comes in as that really strong feminine energy too. I am going to read that grace, at least the short part, guys. Grace, graciousness is compassionate. There will always be an opportunity to practice thy imperfect way of moving through the world. It is the air element, which is of the mind. And I was feeling that mind energy kind of swirling around and trying to get past this kind of chaotic rainbow of tons of feelings and energy and just sorting it out in your mind and really putting it in that this really halo-ish form. It's a really um, peaceful and organized way of looking at it through love, through grace, through that feminine nature of nurturing something. Um, de de divisive and exacting. It says associated cards is co-creation, forgiveness, integrating, love, pleasure, power, pride, and worthy. So that's really nice. So that is your guys' reading. Oh. All right. Thank you guys for coming to your reading. And as always, I appreciate you guys coming, watching your videos, your likes, and your subscribes. And I will talk to you later.